So today we'll be injecting uh, Miss S with uh, botulinum toxin uh, for her problems of cervical dystonia and a uh, component of which in her is uh, oromandibular dystonia and that will require us to inject a series of muscles that I've worked out beforehand. These include masseters, temporalis, uh, splenus capitis, rectus obliquus and levator scapulae and scalenes. This will be done under ultrasound guidance with the assistance uh, of Dr. Wills and we will be uh, using a um, good device here called a Lumify which uh, is a handy little office uh, ultrasound. So we apply some ultrasound gel and then I will gently uh, locate the muscles on the patient and inject some botulinum toxin that I've previously drawn up. And what you can clearly see uh, on the ultrasound is the jaw line, uh, then the muscle lying superior to that and just overlying that some soft tissue structures and skin. So the depth I know is a one centimeter and I take the appropriate needle and in a masseter, I would typically inject 20 units per side at two sites. Rama of the mandible, lower part of the mandible, masseter muscle overlying that with soft tissue above. Open and close your mouth and you can see the, and close and open. And you can see the masseter in the center of the screen here. You should be able to see this quite clearly um, as I inject, very still now, a little scratch, sorry, in the centre of the screen and you'll see the little flare of, there's a tip of my needle and I tend to inject masseters at two sites. It's a broad, powerful, multi-panate muscle. For those of you who don't speak Latin, multi-panate means many-headed. Open and close again and relax. Both injections done. So we have a look at temporalis now. Open and close your jaw. Again. Open. And as she closes, open. Hold it open. Now close. So that that movement there is temporalis muscle. It's very superficial and the line three quarters of the way down or quarter of the way down the screen is her cranium. I can magnify this with this device which will give us a better picture again. Again open and close and again. And uh, the other thing that I like about this particular device is if I'm injecting an area that I might be concerned about for example a artery such as a temporal artery I can Check to see whether there's an artery in the field by using Doppler and adjust the depth so I get a nice field of view sitting immediately above her skull. That's her temporalis muscle 